Hello, this is Sin City Preacher, Brother Luke. Now, I've been a street preacher for a number of years. I've actually preached to millions of people. And I have formerly preached alongside many other street preachers. And sadly, I have witnessed many of these street preachers tell people that God hates them because they're a sinner. They say, God does not love you. God hates you. That's what most street preachers are telling people today. Well, let me set this straight right now. If someone ever tells you God hates you because you're a sinner, they are a liar. And here's some verses to prove the point. In Romans 5, 8, it says, But God commendeth his love toward us, in that while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. Think about that. It says, God commendeth his love toward us. God demonstrated his love. God showed us how much He loves us. He says, in that while we were yet sinners. That means, in spite of the fact that we are all sinners. That's right. You are a sinner just like me. We're all sinners. And even though we're sinners, God loves us. How much does He love us? enough to send His Son, Jesus Christ, to die for our sins. It says, in that while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. Jesus Christ died for us even though we're all just a bunch of sinners. Now, how much does God love us? How much does Jesus Christ love us? Jesus said that there is no greater love than being willing to give your life for a friend. I wonder, do you love anyone enough that you'd be willing to die for them? Do you know anyone who loves you so much they would die for you? If you know someone who would die for you, then they certainly love you. And Jesus Christ loves us so much that He laid down His life. He suffered and died on a cross for us. That's how much God loves us, even though we're all just a bunch of sinners. Now, we're all sinners, because of our sin, we die and we go to hell. But God loves us so much that Christ died for our sins. And when we put our faith in Jesus Christ as our Savior, Jesus gives us eternal life in heaven as a free gift. Now, so what street preachers should really be doing, what all preachers and Bible teachers should be telling people, is a love story. That's what I want to tell you. It's a love story. This is the greatest story ever told. And it is a true story. It's in the Bible. you find it in John 3.16. You've heard that verse. I think it's the most famous verse in the whole Bible. John 3.16 says, For God so loved the world, that He gave His only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in Him should not perish, but have everlasting life. If you ever wanted to know if God loves you, if you ever wanted to know how much God loves you, you don't need to go any further than John 3.16. For God so loved the world 
That's talking about you and me, all of mankind. God loved all of mankind so much that he sent his only begotten son. Do you know his name? Do you know who is the only begotten son of God? His name is Jesus Christ. Do you know who he is? He is God Almighty. The Bible says God was manifest in the flesh. God became a man. The Bible said the Word was made flesh. God was made flesh and lived among us. God loves us so much that he became a man, the Son of God, Jesus Christ, so that he could die for our sins. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son. He gave his Son, Jesus Christ, to die for us. And Jesus Christ was faithful. He did what he came to do. He told us why he came to this world. Jesus said that he came down from heaven and he said he came to give his life as a ransom. A ransom. A ransom is a payment made to set someone free. Jesus Christ said he came to give his life as a ransom. He was faithful. He he did what he was sent to do. He willingly went to that cross. He willingly suffered and died on that cross so he could pay for all your sins and all my sins. For the sins of the whole world. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, Jesus Christ, God in the flesh, to die for our sins. It goes on to say that whosoever believeth in him should not perish. Whosoever believeth in Jesus Christ, the Son of God, as Savior, shall not perish. Whosoever. I know it's an old-fashioned word, but it simply means anybody, without exception, Whosoever believeth in him should not perish. Whosoever means God does not discriminate against anyone. Anybody who will put their faith in Jesus Christ as Savior. Anybody. It doesn't, God's not going to discriminate against you because of your race or your nationality or your age or your gender. Anybody, whosoever believeth in him, should not perish. Should not perish. Perish in hell. If you put your faith in Jesus Christ as your Savior, you will not perish in hell. That's how much God loves you. And it goes on to say, but have everlasting life. Rather than perishing in hell, we receive the gift of everlasting life in heaven because of our faith in Jesus Christ. So God loves you. If anybody tells you God hates you because you're a sinner, then you tell them about Romans 5.8 and John 3.16 because it clearly says that even though we're sinners, Christ died for us. That's how much God loves us. God loves us so much, He does not desire that any of us should perish. He desires that we all put our faith in the Savior, Jesus Christ. He loves us so much, He sent His Son, Jesus Christ, to die for our sins, so that whosoever believes in Jesus Christ receives everlasting life because of faith in the Savior. Now that is a lot of love. The Bible says that we love Him because He first loved us. And I hope, I hope you fall in love with Jesus Christ. That's my prayer for you. That you understand how much God loves you. 
you put your faith in Jesus Christ as your Savior. And it's only natural to love Him in return because He died for your sins. You could go to heaven. Bless you in the name of Jesus Christ.